Alright guys, they're playing a uh, Riven top lane into one of my most favorite matchups of all time. And I've been talking a lot like about this matchup, man. We're playing Riven versus Jax. So, in short, we're running the same runes as always. I think you guys already know at this point. We're running the Conquer page, we're running the Sorcery page, and we also have two Adaptive. So, first game of the day. Got my coffee. <laughs> Literally 20 seconds ago, so I'm prepared. <laughs> Alright. Um, the plan this game is uh, simple. Um, I'm gonna let Jax do his thing level 1. You can approach Jax level 1 if you can get the shove into him. Um, but it's better if you just, you know, stall out until level 2-3. I'll show you why. Level 3 in this matchup is free. Literally free win for you. Because you can short trade Jax and he can't damage you back. Um, in short. There you go. That's the first trade. You can short trade Jax and outplay his counter strike and he will never do any damage to you if you do it smart. That's why I like this matchup so much. There's a lot of outplay uh, potential. And there you go. So, what you need to know is that Jax, Counter-Strike, um, I don't know the exact like number out of my head, if I'm truly honest with you, but I believe the Counter-Strike, I play Jax myself too, so it's roughly um, 10 plus seconds at least. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, maybe 12 seconds, I'm not exactly sure, maybe 9, maybe 10, somewhere along those lines, but um, whenever the Counter-Strike goes down, you want to look for fights all the time and whenever your combo runs out your third Q, your stun your auto whatever you're gonna you're gonna have to walk back immediately to avoid taking more damage that's how you deal with them i wish i had flash <laughs> oh nice he's still getting him cool Good trade. Now he's gonna hit the counter strike. Yep, I'm gonna walk away. I'm gonna stay outside range. If he jumps on me right now, then I will uh, kill for free. I'm uh, full HP as well. What conflict so yeah, the the trick is su super simple. Just take the short trades all day. Walk away as soon as your combo runs out, so you don't take any more damage. It's okay if Jax hits Counter-Strike on you and does like a short trade on you. It's okay if you take some damage, it's not that bad. Um, as long as you don't take it consistently, it's good. So it's okay if you get hit like once by the Jax combo, it's perfectly fine, it happens, right? Um, just try not to get hit like three times in a row, because at that point you're going to risk potentially getting all in and perhaps maybe dying. So. You need to be very consistent in this matchup. Your, your traits needs to be uh, very clean. The more clean they are, the easier this matchup is, basically. Um, let's go for Iron Spike, Longsword, this one, this one. Okay, let's see. So, uh, this Jax was trying to beat me with the longsword like three pot setup which is a very smart idea but there's always like one weakness to it and the, like we we have the same problem too right when you play longsword like i get this question so much the difference between a dorn's blade and a longsword like dorn's blade is better for level one and longsword is better for the rest of the entire lane phase Basically, Dorn's Blade will allow you to tank more damage from the combo. And a Longsword will just give you more damage, give you more sustain. It's just better in the long run. So that's like the difference between both. And Jax did the same thing like me this game. So, he also went Longsword. That's why the level 1 was slightly easier. Oh, it's gonna hit the counter strike, I think. No? Okay. I think I can probably dive him. Thank you. 
Yeah. I was waiting for my combo to come back, but at the same time, I didn't want Jax to like walk away from uh, from me like all ending him. So what I did was I walk like forward, uh, right behind his tower, so he couldn't really go anywhere. Um, his Counter Strike was down, which means that no matter where he goes, I would win. Now let's go back. Warhammer, this one, and yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. Let's see, he's got lifesteal, attack speed. Man, I, I don't know. I, there's something about the Jax matchup, I don't know what it is, but I can play this matchup all day. Like I've been, I think I've been saying this for so many years now. I've made so many videos against Jax, I don't know. This matchup is always very satisfying to play out. Like any matchup with a lot of outplay potential, I like playing it. Um, let's see what he's gonna do. I expect him to... Oh, actually. Okay. Well, let's see what happens here. You see? He's gonna go for the last hits. I'm preventing him from getting it. Then we walk away using the dash, and then we go back forward. My spirit is not lost. Your kills on cooldown. <laughs> nice try. Now let's uh, shove out the next lane. Uh, lane. I mean wave. Right. And well, actually, let's let's stay around. I'm gonna go for plates. I was thinking, you know, maybe just get my Gorchenko now and come back very strong. But I think I'm just gonna stay around. I gotta be careful though, cause Udir is missing. I think he's going top side. Hey, gotcha. Well, since I'm here anyway, let's get this one too. I think I can stay around and just kill him again, um, depending on if his Counter-Strike is up. I believe he used Counter-Strike here. Yeah, he used Counter-Strike. I'm glad that I did it, because I was afraid that I shouldn't be doing it, because I wasn't sure if the Counter-Strike was up or not, but I didn't look properly, but I was right, he actually did use the Counter-Strike. So, we have that one. And now we go back. I do not want to risk like dying to an Udi right now. This is a tough one. Uh, Kale ultimate is pretty broken right now. Oh, we did. We went for the CC chain, and it worked out so well. Wow, amazing. Uh, she could not press R because she was under CC. Like we uh, stacked up all the CC together. Echo hit the CC. I hit the CC. I have my third Q, my W, um, and then afterwards she died before the CC ran out. So. That's how you counter like champions like Kale who have an ultimate. Now Trindomir would be an exception because Trindomir can hit R anyway. Like uh, no matter if CC'd or not, he will hit the ultimate. But Kale is like different because Kale needs to have the animation to go off, so 
Oof, look how much gold I have. 4,200. <laughs> For 11 minutes in the game. Okay, all right. That's a lot of gold. <laughs> um, wow. Uh, okay, I'm going to go Hydra. This is way too snowballing. Whew. 4,200 gold, 11 minutes in the game. What? I didn't even uh, notice. We've been farming so much gold. We get so many kills in the last five. We already have two items. We're like 11 minutes in the game. <laughs> two items, 11 minutes. Not bad, man. That's quite rare. Yeah, it's GG, man. <laughs> I got like two items at this stage. <laughs> what is he good to do? <laughs> I am way too, way, way too far ahead in the game, bro. How should I proceed? Oh, 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 I could outplay. Ah, they never win them. I'm so fed right now. <laughs> I am so fed. I can tank for days, bro. Even without tank items. I'm too far ahead in this game. I'm like four levels ahead, bro. This is like a ginormous lead. This is something I don't typically get. Like, not a lot. Like, I get fed in a lot of games, but not this fed. This is quite unusual. Like, we're almost running, like, one kill per minute. We killed, like, normally you would kill your opponent over and over again. Perhaps maybe enemy jungle too. And you would have, like, maybe, like, two items right now. But I killed their entire team at this stage already. Which means I got all their, like, all their gold. Not just killing the same person over and over. Because that gives you less gold. But if you kill everybody on their whole team, you're actually getting the gold from their entire team. So not just one person over and over. So that's why I'm like so fed right now, because I just killed their entire team already. <laughs> Wait, I think I can also kill their mid lane. It depends on where he's going, of course. Yeah, he already uh, ran off there. Oh. Oh, I failed my double cast. Whoops. I'm trolling. Whoops, I failed my double cast, bro. A moment of clarity. <clears throat> you see, I've been playing Riven for 11 years. A little bit more. And I still fail the combo. Learn from your Happens, right? You can play Riven as much as you want to, but... You can sometimes fail wall jump, sometimes you fail combo, it is what it is. It's quite rare nowadays for me to fail a combo, if I'm truly honest with you. After so many games, you fail like one combo. It's quite rare, but it happens. I can kill this guy. Yeah. Oh, nice. But yeah, like, uh, if, if I'm truly honest with you, like, eventually, the more you play Riffin, like, the more normal it's gonna get. Like, uh, it's like muscle memory, literally. That's literally what it is. You would like, for you guys, m seeing me play Riffon is like, what? Like, wow. For me, it's like muscle memory. Like, I don't really think about it anymore. I don't really think about my next combo. I just look at the situation and I already know what to do. 
I don't really think about it. I just know what to do. When a team fight appears, I just know where to, to, to position myself, like automatically. And I have my brain somewhere else. I have my brain like thinking where the next, where the AD carry is going to go uh, or something like that, you know? But the champion itself, I don't think about my champion anymore. It just comes naturally, if that makes sense. Like that's something that you always want to try and get for yourself too. If you're maining a champion, this is what you're aiming for. You want to, you want, it's, it needs to be like muscle memory for you. Sort of. I just know how to approach the situation. That's probably the best way to put it. Um, let's see if we can... I think I'm going to try and dive the jacks. It's the same thing with the fast queue too. Like fast queue is a good example of like muscle memory. Because like fast queue is something you do all the time. Like no matter what situation, whether it's in a team fight or when you're like, I don't know, like fighting someone one v one when you're chasing people when you're I don't know anything really. You're always doing it, and eventually it just becomes muscle memory. You can play to him every 10 years and fail the auto attack. Yeah, you can. You know, you know about it, man. You're a Trindomir main. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know it. You accidentally like forget to like press the button to like ignore the tower and you auto attack the tower. Or you try like, you're fighting your opponent, you accidentally misclick and you cancel the auto attack. Maybe you auto attack the, maybe you do the E auto. Right? You know what I'm talking about. The E auto, and you accidentally don't hit the, uh, uh, the, the hitbox from E doesn't apply. So you don't hit the E. You only hit the auto. Yeah? You know exactly what I'm talking about. Even Shinomi has mechanics, man. <laughs> That's a bit troll. But, uh, yeah, Shinomi also has those. You can play champion for that long and still fail, yeah. Yeah, they surrender. Hey, this is Riff and Top against my favorite matchup. Thanks so much for watching today's Divit. And I'll see you next time. Peace.